Hey everybody, Jeff aka Geekers here. Welcome to another unboxing. I got a package from Amazon today and I am very excited to open it. This will probably be the last unboxing video for a few weeks. Unless if I come across something that's like, oh my god, I gotta get it. I, you know, so forth. Uh, the next unboxing videos will most likely be the upcoming uh, assortment uh, that has like the Armada Megatron. Those may be the uh, next unboxings. And like, like I said, unless if I just if I buy something and I decide to do an unboxing, but yeah, it, it, it'll be a few weeks until the next you know planned unboxing. <clears throat> but like I said, I've got a box from Amazon. This is the last order that I place, so that isn't a pre-order. But let's get this sucker uh, open, shall we? Oh my god, these these boxes never tear open that easy. Have you noticed that? There we go. Okay. And what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Ooh, it's even, they got even wrapped in plastic. That is nice. I got the Legacy Evolution Generation Selects Deluxe Class Magnificus. Here, so let's get this plastic removed Ooh, ow. that is loud but yeah I recently ordered this off of Amazon I ordered it on Friday while I was at work and it came in about an hour ago maybe a little bit under an hour ago but I had to go do some stuff before I could actually start this recording. So here is the front of the box. Basically it has a Magnificus, Legacy, wait, we're here, Legacy Evolution. On the front bottom, it is Magnificus. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Wait, hold on. There we go. We got the Decepticon symbol with uh, some more of Magnificus. It looks like his arm. Other side, legal garbage. Back, we have Transformers Legacy Evolution. And then on the bottom, we have just, you know, some pi a picture. Yeah. Let's get this baby open up, shall we? So let's pull out the trusty box opening knife that I love. There we go. I actually got to admit, I like the way that this box looks. This is the same box, that type of box uh, that they used for a uh, lift ticket. I had a picture of lift ticket. I like this box more than I do the shitty uh, Warfare Cybertron Trilogy box. It was literally just the same box with just a different sticker right here. Or right, There we go. I like this box because you actually see, you know, the character that you're going to be, uh, the figure that you're buying. So I actually kind of like that. It's different. It adds a little bit of originality to the box. You can't go wrong with that. I love that a lot. But let's open this up. Ooh, I even like the way that they packaged him. Holy shit, I like this. Here you go. Here you go. So basically, I'm trying to... There you go. Here we have Magnificus. He's, uh, they have him uh, sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard, sort of like how they did with uh, Autobot Origin Jazz that was a Target exclusive. So instead of there being bands, they just have two pieces of cardboard and the figures sandwiched between that. I like that. Then again, these are figures that you kind of have to order, so I understand that they don't have all the fancy, you know, all the bands that keep it tied down and everything. So let's... Okay, so... Ooh, look at how easy it just slides out. It just slides out. It is so easy, ladies and gentlemen. So it's... Uh, like I said, it's literally sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard. I like this. I wish that they would do this for all the figures going forward. It should be like this, you know. Okay, let's see if we can open... Is there a way to open this up? Okay, it looks like you got some tape. Okay, well, on the back here we have his... Uh, the, the, the the lens part. So basically, you're going to have to kind of do it like that when you go to remove the figure. But i got to get this opened up first. It looks like it's taped. So let's use the knife again. God, I like it when I like it when it's packaged like this. Hasbro, good going with the packaging. I like this. This is the way it should be. You know, this is the way it should be. 
Okay. Once in a while, I will give Hasbro some good, you know, some, some, you know, positive feedback. I'm not a total asshole. That much. I, I'm an asshole, I will admit. Okay, so it opens up kind of like a little, you know, book. Okay, you have Magnificus, his blaster right here on the side. Here you go. It's black. And there you go. And easy peasy, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy. Nice and clean removal. You don't have a whole bunch of garbage that you have to cut or clip to get out, you know, to figure out. And then you can just put it back in the box. Oh my god, I like how nice and clean it is after you get to figure out. Bam! Bam! I like this. Bravo, Hasbro. I congratulate you. I am I am very proud of you, but just because the box is good, you know, I like the box and how the figure was packaged. How else how am I gonna like the figure itself though? So let's take a quick look. So you have Magnificus. If you're unaware, Magnificus is a repaint with a different head sculpt of Studio Series 86 Perceptor. And guess what? I got Perceptor right here. I kind of, I knew what was coming in the mail today, so I decided to grab the figure that basically Magnificus is based on. So basically, it, it, it's if you have Perceptor, it's basically... Magnificus just with a different head sculpt in different colors, you know. Let's see here. I'm just kind of curious. Is this... Oh, is this clear? I'm just seeing if... Oh, God, that is tight. Okay, yeah, it is clear. So, the display window right here, it is not red. It, well, there's red backing behind it. But the plastic window itself, it is actually clear. And it's the same with... Uh, oh, same with Perceptor. It's not painted. It's just a clear window. Now, Perceptor, I have a different... I have I rehomed the blaster. I can't recall who this blaster goes to. I think it went to uh, possibly Combiner Wars. Either Combiner Wars, uh, Megatron, because there's actually a back part here. I just can't recall who this weapon went to. I know I rehomed it from somebody. So it's either Combiner Wars, Megatron, or it could be Titan's Return Perceptor. I can't recall, but I gave him an extra weapon, so I'm going to have to find another weapon that I haven't rehomed yet for Magnificus. But, yeah, overall, Magnificus has the same feeling uh, that, uh, you know, plastic-wise, that Perceptor has. Okay, there it says Weapon. And overall, I, I actually liked that Perceptor that came with that came in Studio Series eighty six. I hated I hated the Titans Return for some reason. It just didn't feel right. But yeah, this guy basically has this. It's basically a repaint, like I said, of uh, Titans or not Titans Return of Studio Series eighty six Perceptor. I I always think that you know I like the thought of there being other types of Autobots or Decepticons besides the soldiers because from what I understand Magnificus I think he's supposed to be like a scientist also kind of like what Shockwave is so I like to see more you know variety in the uh, type of special specialities that these figures are you know I can imagine this guy working for Megatron alongside uh, Shockwave like I said, I don't know anything about this guy, his lore, so he may have. But I'm in the guy because I just don't know of that many uh, scientific type Decepticons. I know of Shockwave, but I am not, I, you know, I don't know if there's any really other, you know, science-minded specialty uh, Decepticons. So that's why I grabbed this guy uh, when, here, let me actually pull it up let's see here i actually got this guy for what i feel was actually a pretty good deal hold on let me pull it up let's see here like i said i bought this guy from amazon let me see here okay hold on display capture 
Okay, here we go. And as you can see, basically he was I pay thirty dollars. I would I would have been willing to pay like thirty up to like thirty five dollars. So I got a pretty good deal for this guy. Although I'm kind of wondering why it still still says two left because when I bought this guy, there was only two left. So I'm wondering if they're kind of keeping their stock low in order to uh try to drive up business because I know damn well that they should have read one left after I took, you know, possession of this figure. But yeah, so if you are on if you go to Amazon and you like these type of things, oh shit, I, I totally forgot that. Hold on. Okay, well I'm just going to close this out. Hold on. I actually totally forgot to do this. There you go. Holy shit, I got so I got so actually here, let's go through the, see this is the box that he came with. And then, there we go. But, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're if you on Amazon and you like, you want to get this figure, 30 bucks, I would suggest that you go and get it. It, it. it feels solid. It doesn't feel cheap. It, you know, it, it uh, let's see here. Can you, I don't think you can actually look through it. This time. No, it's, it says, it's not clear at all. I'm just curious. How is Perceptors? I've never even looked. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. I never even thought about looking through the little telescope part, you know, or whatever it's called. But, you know, it, for 30 bucks, you, 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 could get, you can't go wrong with it, you know? The only things I wish was that since this guy is supposed to be like a scientific type or, uh, a scientist type, you know, Decepticon. I wish he would have come with a couple of special accessories that kind of led to, you know, like a scanner or something. Because I remember, I think it was Studio Series 86 Cup, possibly, that had like a little handheld scanning device. You're telling me you cannot just give that device also to this guy and possibly spray paint it black or something? You know, hell, like my sure, you know. But I would have just liked to have seen, uh, you know, like at least a scientific gadget for him, you know. But other than that, I actually do, I actually like this figure. I like it a lot. I cannot wait to put him on the shelf uh, next to Shockwave and Megatron because I think that this guy, like I said, I don't know the lore, but I can imagine this guy being at the, you know, next to Megatron as a scientist, you know. The only thing, besides the lack of accessories, the only other thing I really wish, two things, actually. I'm just not really digging the head sculpt. It's nice. It, it's different from... It's different from uh, Perceptor. But maybe it's just because, you, you know, May, uh, not Megatron, Optimus Prime has the faceplate. I can't help but look at these figures that have the faceplate, and it's just, it, to me, it just screams too much of Optimus Prime, you know. But, yeah, you know, other than that, like I said, I also wish, I know it's, I'm old school and everything, I just wish that there was a rub sign on this guy. You know, a rub, I would love to have seen a rub sign. I'm not sure if, you know, you could buy rub signs. But I would definitely buy like a rub sign and put it like right here on his forearm right here. Just, just, I just like the rub signs. I'm not sure what it is. Ever since I was a child, I saw them. And when I started getting back into collecting, you know, Transformers, I was kind of shocked that they didn't have the rub signs anymore because that was so fucking cool, you know, using the thumb and rubbing, 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 rubbing just to find out that, yeah, it's, it's definitely a Decepticon. Oh, yeah, it's definitely an Autobot, you know. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Overall, the figure is very nice. I, I I totally like it. I wish it had a couple different accessories just to kind of accentuate that he's a, a scientist type person. And a rub sign and possibly a different head sculpt. The head sculpt isn't bad. It's just how many times can we see a, a, a face plate? You know, it's just... Eh. But, yeah, so, like I said, if you guys 
go to Amazon. Yeah, I'll go back over here. Wait, hold on. I don't know why it's doing. Why did it pull that out? Okay, there we go. If you go to Amazon, as of the time I'm recording this, they still have two. So if you if you're willing to spend thirty bucks, for me it was like thirty two with taxes. Um, you would you'll probably most likely want to get this figure. It is very nice, and like I said, it, it's an evil form of Perceptor, basically in my eyes. You can't go wrong with that. But my name is Jeff, a.k.a. G Curse. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you all in the future for whatever I get next. So until then, take it easy, everybody. Peace out.